Hello everyone, how are you? It's K. So, hi again. This is the 1st of November 2021 on Monday. So, in this particular video, I would like to introduce one of the emails I got uh, from one of the traders who follows my strategy. So, um, this is a recorded video session. And also, uh, this is how I would like to talk uh, with my strategies on my YouTube channel, topic by topic, so that uh, you will have better understanding uh, when you see my live stream next time. So, in this particular question is very common. I get emails, like 20 emails, 30 emails every day. And um, some of the emails are the questions about my strategy or about Ichimoku strategies. So I have already replied the email and I already got the confirmation, uh, permission from him to share his question on my YouTube channel. So um, that's why I decided to take a video today and share it with everybody on my YouTube channel so that you can also have better understanding of my strategy and also the way I look at the market and trace a long time. Right, so uh, so let's start now. Let me squeeze my face. And a quick disclaimer as usual, since this video session or this content is basically based on my own experience. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. Okay, and since this is a video session, let me show you exactly when I record this video. And that is in UTC, it's 11.35 a.m. So you will see the times on your region, Los Angeles, New York, London, Dubai, New Delhi, Singapore, and Tokyo time. So that you know exactly what time I'm recording this video uh, on your time zone. So let me introduce the email. I already got the screenshot, so let me put that one up here. So it's over here, hold on. And he, uh, he already also touched the screenshot of the chart. So I will introduce that one also after I cover his email. So hold on, let me see. Let me get this email from him. Hold on. Somehow I close it. So let me open again all right there we go so here is the email i got and let me enlarge so that you can read it through so i will just read it out because i think the letters are kind of small in this so uh let me just read it out for everybody so he says uh hi k thanks for previous email i understand the ichimok part you teach however my problem seems to be the entries in M5. Could you take a look when you feel better, of course, after drinking some tea and sake? Yeah, so I was feeling bad. I was not feeling well uh, last week. So I took a good rest over the weekend and now I feel much better. So uh, yeah, thank you for the comment on that. And he says at the picture I touched for your, the Forex pair Euro Pound you just mentioned on the live stream. I entered before you streamed on the forward chart Ichimoku bar when it broke the support and I also got confirmations on 30 minute chart as described in KTS. So that's good. He, he confirmed the H4 and M30 for the trend direction. And he says on 5 minute chart I found a bondage band squeeze, band walking and dead cross confirmation. However, the breakout is overextended, so I waited for a pullback to the breakout level, so previous support line becomes resistance level, and then I saw a Fibonacci 50% level rejection, swing high formation where I entered, and the stop loss was slightly above 1 times ATR on H1, but lower than on H4 with 12.5 pips. Price did break through all the Fibonacci levels, Support line did not react as resistance and flew to 78.6 Fibonacci level. 
So basically, the market went all the way up after the entry to 78.6% Fibonacci level, where I decided to take half of the position off. So he took the half position off at that point while still leaving the rest in play. Then the price pulled back and I shifted my stop loss in case I get a bullish in the wave against me as gold cross already happened. It did take me out, but I only managed to minimize my loss by 30%. And the question is, uh, would you do the same or am I missing something? My main problem is usually that the price action is overextended when it breaks. So I have to wait for a pullback before I enter. If it does not pull back, I just skip it because stop loss is otherwise way too big. And then the price reverse before you can have a nice TP reward of like 2R, 3R. Usually it's 1R or lower. Thank you and hope the picture is clear enough of what I described here. And he says, stay healthy. So, uh, yeah, and uh, based on that, he attached the screenshot. So let me put that one up here also. And let me enlarge the chart. So basically what he said is that the, uh, so first of all, he was good that the, uh, he was following the downtrend. Hold on, let me squeeze my face. Somehow it became very big. Okay, so I just put my face like this. And uh, yeah, so hold on, let's see. Okay, so um, in this example, first of all, the forward chart was going down, 30 was going down. So we can expect the market continuously be downtrend. And what did he mean by overextended was somewhere here. So after the market broke the previous support level in the forward chart or the five minute chart, it was bond walking. And after squeeze, it was bond walking and the market overshooted. So he decided not to enter here, but instead he was waiting for the pullback to the previous support level up to here and then expected the market goes down this way but unfortunately after he entered the market went all the way up and since this level was at the 78.6 percent Fibonacci level breakout uh, he exited half of the position and then he shifted the stop loss so originally stop loss uh, was I think it was here the stop loss was here and um, uh, yeah let's see yeah stop loss was here at 0 0.84249 level and so after he saw this pullback he moved the stop loss to this level which is 0 0.84216 level and then afterwards, the market did not go down, but up, but uh, instead the market went up in a bullish in the wave and he lost the rest of the position here. And afterwards, looks like it was range. So, um, so how would you exit in this kind of condition? Would you exit here also? Or would you exit earlier? Or would you keep holding the positions is my question. I have replied the answer to him already, but uh, please take a moment to think when you will be exiting the trade after you enter here. So here is my answer. I have replied to his answer like this. So, um, so basically, um, First, hold on, let me enlarge again. So first, I enter the trade whenever I find three or more confirmations because overextension in M5 is not overextension in higher time frames. And uh, so let me read out first. So yes, the market could pull back to the previous support level and become a resistance, but not always the case. Sometimes market keeps going towards 
major direction without correcting when the trend is tr strong. Please make sure that you are following major direction in higher time frames and M5 for entry confirmation. And what I mean by this is that the um, so in this case, once again, um, what I mean by that is if I see the downtrend over here, I see if I see three confirmations, like in this case, there is a band walking. And um, let's see, in this case, I, I think I only see band walking uh, confirmation and I don't I don't see three confirmations. Well, I would say that there is there was a dead cross, but looks like this is MACD. It's not the stochastic that I'm not using. So if there is a stochastic 30, 10, 10 dead cross, then I will take that as second confirmation. But uh, I have to find one more confirmation for the entry. And in this case, there is no other. So most likely I will just skip this one. I don't think that this is a entry confirmation. But if I see three confirmations in five minute chart in this condition, then I don't mind placing sell over here. I will just simply place a sell over here. And the stop loss would be above here, the same. Stop loss will be above here. So, and what I mean by this is that, yes, in five minute chart, looks like it's overextended and the market might pull back at any time. But the point is that this is only in the five minute chart. And five minute chart can be volatile, it spikes up and down. So, if I see this chart in five, there might be a pullback. But uh, I don't really care so much about the pullback in the 5. Uh, as long as the market goes down on the bearish in the wave, I will keep holding it, although there's a pullback. So, and also, I wrote back on the email a reply that the, uh, the support line becomes resistance does not always happen. Sometimes, without touching the previous support level, the market just goes down this way continuously. And in that case, you will miss a chance. So as long as I find the three confirmations here, then I will just enter the trade with a stop loss. And simply when the market starts to pull back, and at some point I will simply exit. It's my strategy. So, but if I see overextended market on the daily chart or the forward chart, then of course I will I won't take trade, but I can tell the overextension by daily or four by looking at the Kumo shape. If Kumo is too thin up or downwards, then that's a sign of the overextension. So and especially if the market is at the previous resistance level, support level in a daily chart or weekly chart, then I will hold. Most likely it might pull back, I will hold in that case. But I don't really care so much about the pullback or overextension in M5. So basically, that's what I replied on the first uh, comment here. And the second point is that here is another important mindset to remember. After your entry at 0.84125 level, you expect the market to go towards the major direction in M5. So that means if it goes backwards if it goes up in this case that's when you have to exit in this example market reversed backwards soon after the entry and i can see that there is a gold cross already happening and band walking against a major direction after the squeeze so i won't wait until 0.84216 level but we'll cut the loss immediately so once again, what I mean by that is, if I were enter here, if I enter here, by this potential support line becomes resistance level confirmation. And also this was the Fibonacci 50% level. So you get two confirmations. So as I see this, then if I enter sell right now, then I expect the market go down from here. Because Right here, if you see chart real time, 
there was a Bollinger Band squeeze. And after the squeeze, and so squeeze means that the market is charging its energy for the next move, whereas either way, and in this particular case, I expect the market goes down and band walk along with the major direction, in this case downwards. But in this particular case, um, after the squeeze, you went against the major direction. So as soon as you see the market goes up, band walking against the major direction, then I will just exit very soon. Because what I expect is that the market goes down afterwards. But if it just goes up, then I will simply exit. So most likely, technically in this example, uh, if I just squeeze, sorry, if I just zoom in the chart, most likely, so I see entry here, and I see bullish candle, and doji, and doji breakout. Right? So if I see the doji breakout over here, technically speaking, this is my exit timing. So, because, uh, you know, we have to see charts in the major direction. And if it doesn't go towards the major direction in M5 or M15, then you better exit my exit mindset. And in terms of entry, um, you can refine the entry timing too. Because um, you get this uh, support line becomes resistance level, reversal level, and also 50% level, which is good. But... Uh, in this case, I would prefer to wait for a couple more candles to form bearish. And especially, I can see that there was a pin bar on the red bearish candlestick pin bar. And I would wait for the pin bar breakout. Sorry about my poor handwriting. But uh, if there's a pin bar breakout, then I will place a sell. Because it shows it's a better confirmation for the market to go down on the bigger bearish end wave, like in this case. But if there is no Pimba breakout, then it might be supported here again, and it might go up also, or it might go into the range. And if it just goes upwards, or if it goes into the range, then you better simply exit, is my mindset. So you can refine on your exit timing, in this particular condition too. So in conclusion, I just wrote that the, uh, please remember that you are trading along with the major direction and M5 for entry confirmation. And as soon as you find reversal confirmation on M5, that's when you exit. So, uh, um, so basically, whenever you see the market reversal, you have to exit very soon in M5. And because you exit very soon, your loss can be very minimal. And when you see the market goes towards the direction after entry, then you have bigger reward. And in my strategy, these bigger rewards can cover these previous small losses. So um, this is also the part of risk management. And until you become confident, I recommend you to practice on the real market or you can run the Forex tester and practice on this tester over and over again until you become confident on these exit timings. But uh, this is overall nice trade, I would say, because you confirm downtrend in the forward chart and third main chart and you get this potential, uh, you know, setting edge. So I think Entry chance was good, but the the improvement is about the exit timing in this particular case. And I think exit is more difficult than entries, because entries, you can find confirmations, you can just press buy button and take trades. But psychologically speaking, I think exit timing is more difficult, because when you exit, especially with, in a loss, when you exit, you have to exit with the loss and you will technically lose money and that might be causing that might be painful in your in your psychology so psychologically speaking exit is more difficult than entries and that's why 
I say an exit timing is more important than entries. If you can master exit timings, then uh, you have a better uh, risk management and you can cut the losses very soon so that you don't extend the losses anymore. You cut the losses very soon and when you see, when you can follow the bigger trend next time, it can cover all the previous small losses. But hopefully, uh, you can uh, learn from his questions and also my answers and continue to practice because consistency is a key to success on anything you do, especially in forex trades or any tradings. I think consistency is a key. So never give up and never, uh, you know, never lose the hope in this world. All right. So I hope you enjoyed today's video session. If you liked it, please press the like button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these video sessions or live streams every day on my YouTube channel. So I will see you in the next one. Until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye-bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.